Joburg City Council is hosting a special sitting today after a failed attempt last week. The meeting descended into chaos, you'll remember, over secret ballots to elect committee chairs. Those chairpersons will be elected today. Additional security has been deployed at the council cha chambers. Well, let me give you an update now with ENCA's Govan Whittles, who's been following that sitting. And uh, my understanding is that there was a bit of a recess, uh, Govan. Um, how is it looking today? Does it look like we will get those committee chairs uh, elected today with, without much drama? Well, we may not have a lot of drama, Tillisiswe, but we certainly will have delays. We're currently on our second 30-minute adjournment. First one called by the ANC, this one that we're currently on called by the EFF. And once again, Tillisiswe, a lot of developments behind the scenes, horse trading as it were. And let me just take you through some of those. So the latest information uh, showing some attempts to persuade Al Jamar councillors to vote with the EFF's candidate. That is kind of inconsequential. Al Jamar only holding uh, three seats in this council and the, and the multi-party coalition having a majority of 140 seats. It's a comfortable majority, um, so that isn't really a threat. Uh, but then the more interesting bit that we understand, Tula Sizwe, is that a walkout being contemplated here by the EFF, and we understand that the ANC may join them if the EFF is able to convince the IFP to join them in that walkout. Those negotiations currently underway, and we understand it's happening at a national level. That's the latest that's happening behind the scenes. But some of the drama this morning, the councillors wanted bottles of water at their tables. And the speaker, Vasco da Gama, said, I'm not doing that because last time those bottles of water were used as weapons in that chaos that we broadcasted live. Instead, he set up uh, water dispensers outside the council. There was some protest from the councillors here, and they have since handed out water bottles. But let's talk about how things have started and what's likely in store for the day with the mayor of the city of Johannesburg, Dr. Mpo Palate. Dr. Palate, thank you so much for your time once again. So it seemed as if despite uh, the comfortable majority held by the multi-party coalition, uh, you're not going to get the election as easy as you thought. What do you make of the delay so far? Well, it's to be expected. I think the NC and the EFF know the outcome, and they're just delaying it. There's nothing they can do. Of course, they're still trying to lobby for support, but it's not going to work. Our coalition is tight. We meet often. We speak often. We strategize together. And I can tell you now, nobody's going to break away. Well, if the IFP walk out, it would break the quorum, and that would uh, mean the meeting has to start again. You concerned about that? No, the IFP is not going to walk out. So we've got a very good relationship with the IFP. We've been talking to them even today. The national leadership is here, and they've been talking to us. There's no way that they will walk away. All right. You're comf comfortable that uh, all of the candidates from the multi-party coalition will get into the positions of chairs and chairs or uh, chairs of oversight committees? We've got the numbers, and yes, we will be able to vote in our candidates. Right. And uh, are you concerned that this meeting may be disrupted uh, the way it was last week? Well, even if it happens, we're ready, um, unlike last week, and we will be able to manage the situation. What does that mean, we're ready? Uh, is that a reference to the beefed-up security? What exactly does that entail? Security is part of it, but there's also contingency plans. You know, should there be disruptions, which I cannot talk about now, but we have played out scenarios with the speaker, the security cluster. We've looked at different possibilities, and we've mitigated all risks. Once again, I'm just trying to get some details. Does that mean security officials coming into the chamber um, and dealing with the situation? Well, should there be a need, yes, but that should be the last resort. All right, I'll leave it there for now. That's the mayor, Dr. Mpo Palazzi. They clearly have a plan to ensure that this meeting goes ahead to La Cisua, but last week we saw that uh, council can collapse if it's disrupted for a long enough time, but we've got word from the ANC that they're not looking to disrupt council this time. Um, if they're unable to get party to walk out, out, they'll likely abstain from the vote and accept the outcomes. Um, but then, of course, the ANC also holding a number of seats in subcommittees where they'll still be able to make their views known. Um, yeah. And they'll be hoping to persuade some of these multi-party coalition partners to join them and take over this council. Expect so, you for now. Just for clarity then, Govan, I heard you asking uh, the mayor, um, Popalazza, there about the issue of forming a quorum uh, for that meeting to proceed. Basically, at this point, if any of the uh, parties to the multi-party uh, coalition were to 
join the ANC and the EFF in that walkout, the meeting would not have a quorum and therefore would not be able to proceed and conclude its business of electing um, uh, the, 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 the committee chairs. But as things stand, Mpopalatze confident that none of the parties will break rank and join a walkout. Indeed, and, and it has to be one party with enough seats that uh, walkout would mean the quorum is broken. Parties like Al Jamand and, and PA wouldn't necessarily achieve that, but the IFP can. And we've seen in this council, Tulasizwe, that since the inception of the multi party coalition, there have been a number of uh, attempts to dislodge it, or at least to dislodge some of the more prominent members of the, of the coalition, such as Action SA and now uh, the IFP. But last week, they failed to convince Action SA guys. Uh, to come over, uh, although they claim they would have won if it was done by a secret ballot. And this week it looks like they're trying the same with the IFP. And just like last week, the mayor this week saying she's confident in the strength um, and the unity of that multi-party coalition. That's, of course, what's put to the test here. The real test would have been a secret ballot on whether or not it really is united. But the DA isn't doing that. It'll go ahead with the show of hands. Um, and it looks like this time the ANC won't partake in a disruption because of that decision. Mm. All right, thank you. The machinations never end in the city of uh, city council of Johannesburg as early as it is uh, since the elections in November. ENCA's Govan Whittles, authoritative voice, uh, a source of all knowledge in as far as the goings on and the machinations of the political parties uh, in the city of Joburg. There, he'll bring you updates throughout the day here on ENCA.